Trevor Evans, the bus, has just finished his first trip of the day and is looking forward to a quiet cup of tea at Bella's Cafe. Hello, Sarah. James, off to the shops, are you? Yes. Hop in, then. Oh, yeah, it's OK. We'll, we'll walk. Be quicker than Trevor's bus. <laughs> All right, my sugar lumps. I'll see you later. Yes, bye. Bye, Mr Evans. Oh, I hope I haven't missed the bus. Oh, no. Here comes Trevor. Morning, Sam. Down to Dillis's, please, Trev. Right all. Hey, got the time of you, Sam? Well, I would have if I'd got my watch. I couldn't find it this morning anywhere. Norman! Now you come here this minute! What's this, Norman? Oh, that's my ear, ma'am. And what do I have on my ears? Um, curlers, ma'am. Yes, well, when I do go out, lovely boy, I do wear earrings. Oh, you never go out. For the last time, what have you done with my earrings? Me? Nothing, ma'am. Morning, Dillis. Oh, oh, uh, oh, hello, Sam. Norman's done something wrong, has he? Oh, I do tell you, you can't put anything down. He's only gone and lost my best diamond earrings for me. That's all. Oh, I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere, Dillis. Now then, Pondy Pandy Times and a whistle, please. There you are, Sam. What are you... Oh, oh Norman! Oh, you wait till I catch you! Bye, Dillis. Oh. Hello there, Bella. I hear you losing your watch, Sam. Aye, mind you. Good excuse for being late. Yes, it's odd. I lose my favourite necklace. Aye, and Dillis lost her best earrings. Cara mia! Is a thief in Ponty Pandy. Sausage, bacon, chips and beans. Add an egg and that just means it's the Cradlington special. <clears throat> yes, well, valuable items lost. But really, the most valuable must be my medal. My, my long-service medal, you know. Uh, yes, sir. Well, everything's just disappeared. I will. How about making my Gordon Blue cook and disappear, then? Well, I hope it's better than last time. Oh. Uh, oh. Then, go. Now, there's another thing I've lost, see? What, your, your, your sausage? No, my appetite. Well, I... Uh, no, no. Things that disappear over the night. He's a thief. What is the world coming to? We'll have to call a police. Oh, hello, you two. Uh, we like some potatoes uh, and some carrots, please. Ah! Oh! My fire is on fire! Oh! Oh! It's not the police we need, it's the fire service. Don't worry, we'll phone. Which service do you require? Fire service, please. Now who needs the fire service? Chimney fire in Bella's Cafe. All
president correct, sir? Right, let's go. It's all right, Bella. We're here now. No coffee, no business. Oh, <coughs> oh yes, it's certainly a chimney fire. <coughs> no problem. We've got everything we need. <coughs> <coughs> now, water. Fireman Cridlington, stir a pump. Fire out. <laughs> uh, stir up pump, sir. Good man. Come on, Elvis. It could still be burning further up the chimney. Up the chimney, Fireman Cridlington. There we go, Sam. Oh. Oh. What's up, Elvis? Well, I, oh, I, I, I don't know, Sam, but, but something is. It won't go any further. Oh. Well, I'll have a look with the mirror. What is it, Fireman Sam? Hmm? What can you see? Hmm? Hmm? Looks like there's a bit of a blockage up there, sir. Perhaps I can see better from the roof. Yes, quite right, Fireman Sam. Uh, yes, see better from the roof. Might need the pocket radio, sir. Good thinking, Fireman Sam. I'll go up through the skylight, then. Ah, there we are. Now... Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, there's a big dark down there. Hello, Uncle Sam. Hi, Uncle Sam. Oh, be careful now. Hi. All right, Bella. You want to be careful he doesn't bend your aerial. Oh, yes, I see the problem. Fireman Sam to Station Officer Steele. Over. Uh, Fireman Sam, go ahead. Oh, all it needs is a good shove, I think, sir. Over. Uh, right, Cridlington. Just needs a good shove. Roger. Over. One. Um. Uh, two. Three. Ah, uh, three. Uh, yes. Um, three. Oh! Uh, oh! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> You'll have to move out, I'm afraid. <coughs> Hello. What do we got here then? <coughs> hey! My diamond earrings! My necklace! My medal! Hey, and my watch. So, it was a nest blocking the chimney. Well, you're right about the nest, Bella. And it belongs to a jackdaw. Jackdaws love shiny things. Of course, I knew it wasn't Norman, really. Mummy's little darling. Fond of bananas, though, is he? Yes. Why? <laughs> Norman Price, I'll flatten you. Mummy's little darling. Cheeky little monkey. 